friends this is priyanka today we are going to solve a problem on flow through pipes in this video we are going to solve a problem about equivalent pipe so what is this equivalent pipe so it is the pipe with uniform diameter having loss of head and discharge equal to the loss of head and discharge of compound pipe system with different lengths and different diameters so we will understand this concept with the help of diagram now if we observe here is the compound pipe system having different lengths that is l1 l2 l3 with different diameters d1 d2 and d3 now we have to provide the equivalent pipe so how to provide what is the condition that is its a diameter should be uniform and at the same time what is the discharge in this pipe system that is having the same discharge through this equivalent pipe and what is the loss of head that is h that is also remains same for this equivalent pipe so if we observe suppose here is the discharge q and loss of head h then for this equivalent pipe system it is having uniform diameter and then discharge is also same that is q and the loss of head is also equal to h so here is the equivalent pipe now in this video we are going to find out what is the diameter of this equivalent pipe so first i will read what is the given problem Three pipes of lengths 800 meter, 500 meter, and 400 meter, and of diameters 500 millimeter, 400 millimeter, and 300 millimeter respectively are connected in series. These pipes are to be replaced by a single pipe of length 1,700 meter. Find the diameter of the single pipe. So this was the given question. let us first understand the diagram as per given data now if we observe here the compound pipe system is given with length l1 800 meter diameter d1 0.5 meter then length l2 500 meter with diameter d2 0.4 meter and l3 400 meter and diameter d3 0.3 meter now for this compound pipe system equivalent pipe is provided that means here the discharge through this compound pipe system will be same as the discharge through this equivalent pipe and the loss of head is also same now here if we observe we have to draw the equivalent pipe of uniform diameter and the length of this equivalent pipe is given that is 1700 meter now if we observe total addition of length that is l1 l2 plus l3 that is 800 plus 500 plus 400 is also equal to the length of this equivalent pipe so we can say that l is equal to l1 plus l2 plus l3 so here we can apply dupit equation so what is that equation that is l divided by d raised to 5 is equal to l1 divided by d1 raised to 5 plus l2 divided by d2 raised to 5 plus l3 divided by d3 raised to 5 so if we observe we know l1 l2 l3 as well as d1 d2 and d3 so we can easily put the values and we also know what is this l so only one remaining unknown term that is d raised to 5 so from that we can find out what is the diameter of this equivalent pipe now when we put all the values then if we simplify this then d raised to 5 is equal to 0.007118 now most important point is that how to calculate this d so here with the help of calculator if we observe this d raised to 5 that means when i divide on both sides by 5 then how i can write therefore d raised to 5 by 5 which is equal to 0.007118 raised to 1 by 5 so 5 by 5 that means 1 therefore i can write here simply d is equal to 0.007118 raised to 1 by 5 so how to calculate this so with the help of calculator here raise to sign is there so i will take here 0.007118 
raised to. Now here 1 by 5. So I have to take the bracket. In the bracket 1 divided by 5. Bracket complete. So when I calculate this I will get the answer 0 0.3718. So now we have to write this. So what is the unit? So if I observe here this D1, D2 and D3 are taken that is in the standard unit in meter. So here we have to take here the unit of this D is also in meter. Now again we can convert this into millimeter. So how to convert this? Multiplying with 10 raised to 3. So here 371.8 millimeter. So this is the answer.